My name is Florence and welcome to The Know. Tomorrow will mark 30 years since Stephen Lawrence was fatally stabbed in Eltham, South East London. The news of Stephen Lawrence's death rocked the nation, changing attitudes on racism and police practice. But if you don't already know about this tragic event, here's what happened. On the 22nd of April 1993, Stephen Lawrence, a black British teenager, was murdered in a racially motivated attack. The 18-year-old was waiting for a bus and two of the perpetrators weren't convicted of murder until 2012, 19 years after the attack. An investigation criticised police for their handling of the case and a public inquiry headed by Sir William McPherson concluded the force was institutionally racist. The report, which was published in 1999, said that the police had failed to give first aid when they reached the scene, failed to follow obvious leads and failed to arrest suspects. But it didn't end there, because it wasn't until 2011, in a further review, that two of the original suspects, Gary Dobson and David Norris, stood trial following new evidence into the case. They were found guilty in 2012, receiving life sentences with a minimum term of 15 years, two months, and 14 years, three months, respectively. While these sentences might sound like justice, a witness statement by Dwayne Brooks stated six white youths had attacked Lawrence. Stephen Lawrence's father, Neville Lawrence, has campaigned for justice since the death of his son and told the Daily Mirror in an exclusive interview that he will be given impact statements at the parole hearings of Gary Dobson and David Norris. For me, it will be essential that these people say, yes, I murdered Stephen Lawrence before they are let out on the, to the, into the, the, the society again. My son is in Jamaica in the ground. He can't, he can't come out. My son is dead. Never will he be able to come out of the, the coffin. He also said that he won't be meeting Metropolitan Police Commissioner Sir Mark Rowley following Baroness Louise Casey's report on the Met Police. You can watch the full exclusive interview with Neville Lawrence on our YouTube channel. Now this is just a short summary of what happened to the late Stephen Lawrence and a tiny snippet of the impact it had on the UK. Since the murder of Stephen Lawrence, there have been numerous deaths and attacks with a known or suspected racial element. Here are some of the victims. 